Welcome to game four of the grand finals here at the WCS season one final. Your blue Protoss SOS on the ropes. And the red Terran innovation from STX Soul so close to victory. He He's been here before. Can he seal the deal this time? I think he feels like he can. I, I feel like this player than he does in most of his TVZs, honestly. Yeah, absolutely. His play looking just immaculate yeah. so far this evening. Exactly. So what will we see out of these two players? SOS doing a pretty good job again, you know what I mean, of defending against some early aggression from innovation, but it's really not the damage that innovation does that's the problem, it's the distractions. It's holding him back into his base. I mean, SOS, the only time he's really been across the map in any of these games so far has been the time that he cheesed uh, innovation. So, I, I mean, what is SOS gonna do? That, above anything else, has gotta be really hard to take, that he really hasn't been able to leave his base all series long. And even with that cheese, even though he did get a significant number, what, 24 SCVs? With yeah. that early pressure, he overextended a little bit with the Stalkers in the base and yeah. then lost control of the game after that. Well, he really felt like he could win that game. And I mean, he didn't put down a Nexus because he was so sure and that yeah. really came back to haunt him. There's a Reaper coming out again for innovation. He's been relying on this. Most Terrans these days are opening with Reapers, at least one. And the benefits just are, are huge. You know, there's literally no real detriment to opening with a Reaper first. I mean, it's it's good against everything Protoss could possibly throw at you in the first few minutes of the game. And just the ability to not only get the information that they can give you, but also maybe if you're lucky, kill a couple workers. Reapers are great. Oh, here we go, Pylon going down. Yeah, that's a bit interesting. At the natural, a bit offset right there. Yeah. What could that be for, Noah? It could be for a lot of things, man. I mean, it, it looks like he wants to try to fake out innovation a little bit, just not showing that third pylon, putting it in a place where he'll miss. So really, more than anything, I think this is going to show, uh, this is going to maybe make innovation feel like he just, uh, like there's something proxied. It's going to make him go and look for it and waste a bit of time. The other option is that SOS may be thinking of proxying something himself, you know? Maybe that's going to be eventually for a Dark Shrine or a Twilight Council. Who knows? Well, there we go, the quick scout. And will innovation fall for the bait? Dude, SOS is playing the solar all. He hit his probe too. He's gonna expand. There's a Nexus. And but he's totally got innovation thinking it's a cheese. He makes innovation think that there's something proxy by hiding that third pylon and hiding the probe that was gonna put down the Nexus. And then bringing the zealot over as well. Yeah, there's a bunker going up in the main. I mean innovation, he doesn't really know what's going on yet, but for now he's very worried. Very cool play. This is the SOS that we're used to yeah. seeing in this matchup. And following this up with the Stargate as well. So a little bit of a later Stargate, and we'll see what SOS wants to do with it. I mean, we have seen a bit of a move back to things like Phoenix Colossus a bit in this matchup. So that could be the start of it for SOS. He's got a lot of options, though, with what to do. We're just going to have to kind of wait and see. That Zealot stays a number, though. Okay. He'll be back. He'll be back as an immortal. It's That's okay. right. Yep. Now that they discontinued the Dragoon. That's right. So sad. Well, the Immortal is a little bit better at kind of maneuvering around than the yeah, Dragoon. You that's, know, it's that's not, true, that's yeah. true. The Immortal can actually walk across bridges. We found that uh, three legs are generally better than four, apparently. <laughs> yep. And there's an Oracle on the way for SOS. So innovation, here's the thing. It's oh, like, oh, in, oh, the Reaper got in. Oh, the return of the it. Reaper yep. does manage to see everything that he's doing right there. Well, that Reaper had more blood in it than a Mortal Kombat character, man. Uh, but there we go. Also sees... Saw the Forge, too. The so. Forge going up. At the back of the base. Now... This Oracle... Still gonna come out, so. Well, SOS committed to dealing some damage. Here. I really don't feel like any worried about the prize. Well, this Oracle got one SCB. Building at the front of Innovation's Natural, but that's...
about it. He's not really committed to this, though. Instead, going to get plus one armor and build into that robo. Yeah, exactly. He wants to get a lot of her. It's like that would. What? I, I gotta say, man, I think the nerves are hitting. Yeah, so it's pretty hard right now. Yeah, especially after seeing that double Templar archive. He just needs to just calm down. Absolutely. Well, plus one on the way for innovation, as we can see right now. He seems very calm and collected and precise here in the WCS season one finals. Yeah, fine. Kept so I mean, he's really not going to be leaving anyway, but innovation's got him a little bit scared. He's just getting his upgrades, getting his macro going. It's kind of just, you know, yet another, just another day in the office for innovation right now in this game. Well, Charge Lot Archon going to be coming in. The Storm Research coming as well. So the Observer sneaks into Innovation's base, giving him a good scout. Here's the Oracle moving across the map as well. Yeah. So, so SOS, how does he win at this point in time? He's got to just go for the late game and have really good positioning in some of the later fights. I, I think that's going to be more or less it. But I mean, look at the look at the supply. I mean, th it's not very common that you're going to see a Protoss that far down in supply at this point in the game without any real Double major engagement. Double army supply as well. Yeah, it's for innovation. Is, in fact, SOS might. He might just die right here. I think that's. I think it's possible. It's. It's a bit bizarre seeing this. SOS trying to do some damage with this Oracle gets three kills, but gets pushed out, and this push is absolutely terrifying right now. Coming in, innovation going for the win with this one. And look at that. His weapons upgrade, his uh, concussive shells, Perfect and his stim pilot. all finishing simultaneously here. Feedback on the medevac, but not doing a whole lot. He's got that photon overcharge down now, but mostly he's just got the zealots in the centuries. Oh, Whoa. wow. Great storm. Actually, a great storm. That push is over, man. Yeah. Whoa. So, SOS, great I mean, defense. He, he did it really well. Yeah, he moved all call to delay a little bit until he had storm and then was able to get a great storm with those force fields as well. So nice defense by SOS, a very scary moment, but staying alive so far. And now the Hellbats cometh into this yeah. game. So yep. he'll be using that to buffer damage for his front lines, keep those charge lots in the back. Hellbats, Hellbats are perfect for this because they're you know, really good at charge lots, obviously, but they're also able to soak a lot of damage from Psionic Storm, too. And they can be healed by Medivac. So, a perfect thing to add in there. And a Fleet, Fleet beacon, beacon on the way for SOS. What does this mean, Interesting. Noah? Um, it could mean a couple things. I mean, Tempests are a little bit good for delaying tactics type of stuff. He could even be going, actually, for a regular Mothership. He's got to survive this first, though. Another good storm. It's going to help. He'll be able, if he gets Tempest, he can snipe off some of those medevacs at the very least. Gets the Revelation down, so now yeah. he can keep tabs. You know, another option would be the uh, Annie and Pulse Crystals upgrade as well. If you make some Phoenixes off of that, you can maybe fly around and focus Oop. down some of the medevacs. But yeah, will be that Tempest. Tempest. That makes the most sense. So he's got eyes on the main force of innovation right now. Yeah. He can see that widow mine lurking there. And a lot of this, again, I mean, he's going to be able to put a lot of pressure on the medevacs from a long distance away. But he needs to keep those Tempests safe. Look at this, going completely almost into air, a second starport, air upgrades. Oh, I love this, man. I mean, I, I hope this works so much because it's such a cool build to see. And you can see he's also trying to create a choke right there using photon cannons, yeah. getting a defensive hard point between his natural and his third. We're getting to like complexity RSVP levels of cannons here. That's a joke a lot of NA, turn, NA players may, may know about, but we'll see. Not necessarily Terrence, but here we go. All right, he is trying to defend. A bit of a weak storm right there, and the cannon will go down at the third. Meanwhile, Innovation just coming through, taking out some of the cannons in between bases right there. This Oracle has done a tremendous... 23, 4 kill. Wow. 
And there we go, Hellbats coming in as well for Innovation. The first Tempest is out on the map. Yep. I believe but that did get spotted as well. Reinforcements en route for our STX Terran player. This is a bit crazy right now, making a ton of Tempest, but he needs to have this base defense. All right, well, SOS going for the purely defensive route this time. These Hellbats doing some work, taking out the probes at the third, but Innovation has to evacuate as the Zealots get warped in. He's got to be a little bit careful of these cannons, but he can do more damage with these Hellbats. Um, the thing is, is he can't really drop anywhere at the moment. Oh, oh run, the Templar. Templar! Oh, the probes, too. Oh. <laughs> Man, I was crazy. very nervous for those Templar now. Here come the, Tem here come the uh, Tempests. Templar, Tempest, so close. But we're going like totally big game hunters on this one right now for SOS. Just ah, cannons ah. and large air units. But I like it. I miss, I miss carrier games on oh, yeah. BGH. Oh, oh those oh, probes. No. Oh, he's well, his I, own. I, I guess, I mean, that does kill Hellbats as well, but SOS, man, you're crazy. That's right. Yeah. He doesn't care about his probes. Yeah, there's the Ghost Academy right now for innovation. Three more starports added on, and the fact is, is that if it's just going to end up being Vikings against Tempest, it's going to go pretty well for the Vikings if they can get in position. So SOS is going to need to be kind of careful with this. We'll see how much he really wants to sort of dedicate to air. I don't know if he's going to add on any more than just these Tempest, but we'll, well he see. already has five of them. Yeah, it's quite a few. So a lot invested in the air already. Here we go. The Tempest. He may be in the to, center of the map right now. Yeah, he may want to try to sneak the gold base. The storm taking a big chunk out of innovation. And storm after storm here, but innovation continues to press forward, wow. hiding these zealots. Broader Hellbat tanks. So much damage, and here comes more units of the natural. He does get a medevac with the feedback. He's got a cannon there as well. The Tempest going to come to clean. Hit hard, and they hit hard from a long distance away, but they don't really have a large amount of sustained damage. I think he actually shot one of his own units there accidentally, too. Whoops. All right, well, SOS, ooh. Ooh, ouch. Loses the Zealot to that well-placed Widow Mine. Yeah. And here we go. He is trying to sneak that gold base, Doa, but I think that's innovation a knows. Then it's there. The nice thing, though, is that he can park Templar there behind the mineral line, and he can also keep his Tempest up on the cliff to fire over the Nexus and defend it. I think that's the idea we've got going on here from SOS. We'll see if Innovation wants to let him get away with it, though. And more and more Tempests coming onto the board here from SOS, yeah. going up to seven. Do you think this is an overinvestment? I think he has decided on his strategy. He's going for it. Oh, the Vikings coming in, though. One tap is already going down. He can't make mistakes like that. He needs to keep these very expensive tempests alive. And look at that again. That choke really proving useful to use those storms. Yeah. And a bunch of bio getting low. SOS is down 50 supply right now, however. He's building more Stargates. Yep. He wants to get even more air, and I mean, he's got enough Tempest out that you can see what he's been doing. He's been delaying. Being innovation, keeping him from being able to push in completely with a big army. So now that he's got all these Tempests, he can add in Voider as if he wants. He's actually starting a war center, just trying to take bases. You know, a, a tricky thing for SOS right now is that he's running out of resources on all his, on all his bases. He really needs his fourth, and innovation doesn't want him to have it. And there we go. He's just moving straight in. Nothing going to stop this Nexus yeah, from going down right yeah. there. And an easy Nexus sight. Yeah. More innovation, controlling his opponent, gets a probe there. Yeah. I mean, that was the perfect move for innovation. I mean, he knows how SOS is kind of starved for resources at the moment. So by picking up that Nexus, hey, you know, now SOS has no income really. It's nearly gone. All he's got really is one base, and you cannot sustain the amount of units that SOS wants to make on just a one base economy. Absolutely. Well, let's see what he wants to do with this Dark Shrine. It is nearly complete. Cloak now on the way for these ghosts. Well, SOS needs to do some backstabs here. Those units are kind of trapped. There we go. There, it's just, it's just patient. <laughs> Let the Marauders through. Come on, Hellbats. All right, guys.
Now he's He's got a lot of ghosts. And those Tempests are in trouble. And they're just being chased down. And when you get out of position, I take a storm off. Forces the Vikings back, but again. The cancellation at that gold base yeah. and innovation just keeping SOS starved. I don't know, man. Air attack upgrades. I really don't know why he's attacking that planetary. That's got to be a mistake. There's no way one Dark Templar can kill a planetary like that. A little bit awkward. A bit distracting for innovation as well, but not a whole lot to worry about right now at the moment. Well, innovation hits his max. SOS still trying to catch up here. Still adding more Tempests in. SOS, man, he really concentrates on having his tech and his creative play carry him because he just will never have as much supply as his opponent. He's always kind of used to playing from being down a bit in the numbers game, but he makes up for it in, in crazy unit compositions and good, smart positioning, but he's going to need a little bit more of this game. He has kind of gotten that gold established a little bit at least, so a little bit of new life for innovation, or for SOS rather. But will he be able to carry that to a win? I mean, he needs to, but will he be able to do that? Absolutely. Well, you know, I feel this game is really symbolic of SOS's and Innovation's relationship. Oh, really? Tempestuous. Oh. <laughs> I don't. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know, man. Welcome to Starcraft. All right. Oh. And here we go. The big fight on the way. The Tempest shooting over the top. Vikings picking them off, however. Revelation goes down to keep track, and he's still... Coming in, and the fight... count has been severely... ...lessened, but again, that gold base goes down. Yeah. Innovation just needs to slow... ...base of DT, being a little bit annoying down in the bottom right, but nothing Innovation can't handle. Oh, nice. Cloak Ghost sniping off some Templar. SOS needs those. There we go. Observer coming in, allowing him to see that. But he's got the Ghost Energy upgrade as well. Finally getting the high sec auto tracking and building armor too. Yeah. So these planetary is going to be quite fearsome as SOS. he continues to expand across the map. Innovation just playing this so deliberately right now. Yeah, very, very methodical. Now, I mean, this is such a crazy amount of Tempest, too, from SOS. It's keeping him in the game, but he raised pain five, and Innovation is holding him to just three. All well, right. that one's not making it. Well, he manages to pick off one. That really marks the first aggressive move we've seen SOS do really in this series. Aside from being on Innovation's side of the base during that cheesy second game, SOS just hasn't, again, you know, been able to get out there and put pressure on innovation. But I would say, man, he's still got a chance in this game. All right, Doug. Well, SOS does have the lead in terms of army supply right now. Innovation having nearly double the worker count. Yeah. So what does innovation need to do here? Does SOS still stand a chance, well, given the way that innovation is so focused on getting that huge economy. Yeah, it's a little bit bizarre. I mean, we'll see if he decides to just switch back into bio with a lot of Marines, and that actually looks like what he's doing. Adding a lot more Marines on to handle those Tempests, but the thing is, that's going to make his army more vulnerable to Storm. This is definitely one of those builds SOS was talking about. It's something that we really do not see in this matchup. 14 Tempests out right now. They do their damage slowly, but when they hit, they hit hard, and this is something that Innovation, I can guarantee you, does not have a lot of experience against. All right, well, the Vikings coming in right now, trading just a few shots. Whoa. Yep. Tempest Fighting. Templar. That's Crazy right. composition, man. And SOS using these Tempests, and it's so interesting on this map, too, of how well he can control oh, wow. the middle of the map with these Tempests. There's really too many Tempests right now for those Vikings to handle. I don't think Innovation's going to want to invest into it anymore. But yeah, you're right. The map control is so important. SOS would be so happy if he could just take the other gold base. That's going to be kind of the next step, I feel. All right, and these Tempests continuing to outrage Whoa, the Viking, ghost. but the Cloak Ghost Brigade is here. Oh, to get some man. 
Oh, nice storm. He got a lot of that. All the Templars going down, though. Still some ghosts remaining. Nearly made it work. But he's going to need to replace those Templar, and he's going to need to wait for them to get a bit more energy. And here we go. Zealot still denying that base. Looks like Down the start in the 4 o'clock position. Yeah, I, I'm guessing that was supposed to be a, a defensive planetary, considering we have the Oracle there, or the, not the Oracle, the Orbital Command there at the bottom right. So innovation right now. This is going to be going to be. There we go. Forcing the cancel, and the Tempest once again, and look how many mules are on this base right now. Yeah. The question is, can he, oh, look how fast he can take that down. Uh, the Tempest have reached really like critical mass right now. He's getting more high Templar. Killing a ton of stuff with this. I can't believe I'm seeing this, man. Oh, nice storms. Nice storms and feet. Feedback, just weakening those ghosts, taking a couple out, and here comes SOS. Is this his moment? Let's uh, see, Storm's going down on the Marine Army, and there he goes, Tempest. Look at us, this. Yeah, they're trying to snipe the ghost right in the middle. He got all the ghosts. Do. He got every single one. Now, can he win this battle? Oh, the Marines Marine. are getting underneath. Are there they're enough getting storms? storms? There are. It looks like there are going to be enough storms. We'll see. Tempest pulling back oh, right now alongside man. that Templar. He lost a few, three more in production. Yeah. Is it enough? It could have been worse, but the Vikings picking off the remaining Tempest. Not enough anti-air to handle it. Oh, oh this is not good for SOS. He's not good at all. He's sitting on top of those cannons, however. There he is turning and firing another barrage, but he did lose about a dozen Tempests in that engagement. Yeah, the thing is, is it's like losing a mech army as Terran. It's going to be very, very hard for SOS to build those numbers up again, and that's going to be Innovation's opportunity to get in there and deny these other expansions to be very annoying with that. Innovation may have lost a lot of supply. He's getting low on resources himself as well, but it's going to be tough for, for SOS to build back up again. Well, he does have that gold base. Yeah. Might be the saving grace, but it's really his gas that's starving him out it's right now. It's gas and it's time. It's time, you know? He needs that time to build those temp those tempests that take very long. Look at this, though. No mineral income for innovation. Hardly any at all. These units are going to be some of the last ones he has. Very interesting. Well, one of our players capped by the minerals, the other one capped by the gas. Exactly, And yeah. so neither really able to get there unit combination that they want, but at least SOS can still build zealots. Maybe they can do a little bit of trading and then they can both make their <laughs> units. We can see more big fights. Look that at that DT too, standing under the CC. Yeah. So that innovation can't land and mine. Huh. It's pretty helpful. He's sending it up there right now. He will get the scan down. Yep. There it is. All right. So SOS's next job is going to be denying this base. And there's bases on both sides of the map, and that's really going to be annoying for that slow uh, Tempest-based army. So, that Innovation Nexus is in just, big trouble. Oh, the Nexus will go down. Now, Innovation doing a great job of getting his stim marines underneath the Tempest last time. We yep. saw SOS successful. He was using the ridge, that circular crater, right. in the middle of the map to do the damage he needed to do to hold that gold base. You know, well, what else we saw as well was uh, Innovation sacrificing his ghost to get in there and do enough damage to the Templar to then allow his marines and Vikings to clean up that air army as well. So it really was all about the ghosts and the Vikings. Tempests are great, but you really need that backbone underneath it of other support units to make them good. All right, here we go. Some more DT harassment. Gotta take some swipes in that orbital. Orbital, force the lift. Yep. And now we're back into a holding position, a planetary there at 10 o'clock to protect an SOS. Picking off what ghosts he can with this Tempest. They're growing in number again. No, I haven't seen it in a while. Okay, I was going to see. It looks like that gold base still has a decent amount of minerals, but it's not being mined from quite a bit. There's there's not a lot of probes there. SOS, though, probably still a little bit better mineral income right now, but it's not going to last forever. That gold base is going to start to get a little bit mined out soon, and he needs to have that fifth base stick around a bit. Well, here we go. Firing at the bed of X forces the afterburner usage. Yeah, Silk is trying to do damage from long range. He actually picked off a ghost just there. That was huge. Yeah, oh, look wow. at all the damage he's doing, actually. 
SOS, he's trying to draw the Tempest out. The Marines are coming in. Uh, the Marines, will they be able to close the gap? They don't get a Tempest right there, and instead just suffer a lot of damage. Barely got through the shields of one, it looks like, so far. Yep. Now the Zealots cutting off some Marauders on the side. That's right. Can Innovation close with this army? Can SOS trap him? He might be able to do it. There's going to be a bit of a liftoff here. SOS, he may have Innovation pinned. And here we go. He's backed into a corner, and the storms start raining down on it. Innovation, it looks like this is going to get cleaned up by SOS. This is a storm scarier than anything in the movie Twister, man. Innovation is so out of supply. Innovation going after these crucial nexuses, though. And it's so back and forth. This game is absolutely wild. The yeah. Marauders now resigned to their fate not shooting their missiles into the sky. Yeah, I mean, if you look at the supply, obviously still in favor of innovation, but that doesn't matter a whole lot right now because there's not a lot of anti-air. What really matters is bases, and SOS has lost another Nexus. He traded one out of two bases for innovation for basically one out of a very crucial base that SOS needed. The gold base is not going to last for much longer. All right, well, we'll have to see if that trade was worthwhile. Rebuilding that Nexus there at 3 o'clock. Continues to distance mine in the meantime. Now, SOS still down by about 40 supply. Yeah. I can't believe this game. Oh, the Tempest! He does get up onto the high ground, though, where he can rain death from above. He does, but he'll be raining death a bit slowly here. He always needs to have something else to augment it. Okay, innovation moving around the side. He still has this 4 o'clock base. Yeah. He's got the base up at the 11 o'clock as well. Medivac's taking some hits, but still quite a few out there for Innovation. The Tempest actually are pretty far forward. Yeah, there's a scan from Innovation. He sees it, but he can't really engage just yet. A very Marauder-heavy composition at the moment. Is he going to go for it? It looks like he wants to. Uh, he oh, gets back up ground. over the high ground for the moment. Not a lot of Marines in there yet. Some more joining it. He does get a Tempest. Yeah. He's got to be so careful, man. And he's got to save that Nexus again. It's in danger. In oh, the, meantime, the probes, too. Innovation going for the gold simultaneously. He's trapped in. He's forced a decision with these Tempests. Wow, amazing positioning from Innovation. Gets the important base. The other one in trouble as well. Wow, what a chess match. And Innovation, man, he just put SOS in check big time. All right, well, there we go. The gold base is down. Not a lot of gold minerals left there. Yeah. But, of course, SOS having such problems with his income. You know, it's a very unique idea, but ultimately the immobility of this big Tempest fleet is a problem. It's a big problem for SOS. And here we go. Marine Sibbing coming around the side right now. He wants to get that fourth. That is the nail in the coffin right there. Get it. He's got him in a flank. From He's, two sides. The Tempests are in a flank right now, but Storm's going down. However, these Tempests getting very low. The Marines underneath and firing away it's while enough. the Marauders will it's pick enough. up the Nexus. It will be enough. The Tempests all go GG. down. GG! Innovation wins season one of the WCS 4-0. to zero. Great play. Relief on his face. Winning a tournament like he felt he was supposed to last week. It was robbed from him by Solki, but Innovation getting that revenge on another Wounded Stars player. And there's his...